Well, it's uh, August 15th, um, 2011, and uh, as you can see before me, this tree is burnt, or well, the leaves are burnt anyways, and it's a common thing I've been finding around lately, walking around Germany and my time being here. I've been doing a lot of traveling, so I've been noticing this in the trees. Everywhere I go, some places it's worse, some places it's not so bad as others, but uh, still you have this really weird substance on a lot of leaves. It's not on every leaf, this white substance here. Um, you see the leaves I've been collecting here. Uh, this one is pretty funky here. It's uh, got black stuff and green and um, there's also a lot of yellow, red, so you can see there. Um, definitely, this is a burning, but this is not a burn from sun. This is a burn from chemicals. One leaf that I found. Yeah, look at this one. This is uh, pretty heavy. And it's good. See, I can bend it and fold it, and it doesn't really do much. Uh, look what I can do here. I can roll it up, and then look, I can unfold it. And it's not so. coating on this leaf. Um, I should be wearing gloves. I'm a pretty foolish man for not wearing gloves, but I wash my hands really good after touching it. Um, but this is not normal, folks. Not in any way. And it seems that I'm the only one that's really uh, tackling this. down in the rain is uh, definitely uh, affecting the leaves and the animals and well, you can see that it's darker in one spot you know, and it looks like there's been stained with some kind of fluid like oil for example look at that that's a pretty nice burn there Yellow, green, brown, dark brown. Looks like someone took a lighter to this leaf. It's the yellow. And there's lots of spots on this one. And here we have the funky colors like yellow, red, and green all in one. And then really funky, like almost charcoal, like it was just on fire. Yeah, they're all dead. Fallen. And it's... As you can see, it's all over the place. And we're coming to a little garden here. And... Look at the flowers there. Flowers in the park, too. Uh, these collect a lot of rainwater. They don't rely on any ground water whatsoever. A lot of the smaller stuff has got little funky dots on it and whatnot. Here you got lots of strange dots on the leaves. There, burning, strange burning, yellow leaves.
here as well. Okay, it's not in a pot, but see the yellow and the leaves there. Go along here. See all these white. from the aluminum dioxide from geoengineering but we do have a lot of volcanoes and that's a lot of thing too is that volcanoes aren't really the the best things for plants but what I really would like to know is what core exit is doing to the atmosphere and like what uh, some of the things that I've seen about core exit um, how it com how it combines with water and if you think about the 250 million gallons that they put in the Gulf of Mexico, and when the sun evaporated this core exit water, it went into the atmosphere, into the Gulf Stream. And uh, these, these things should be white, but they look like they were, I don't know, they were dumped with, see, or, no, sorry, yellow. It should be yellow, not white. <laughs> There's one that's kind of yellow. These flowers look okay here. It's just when you get to the base of the flowers, when you see it's a little lighter in color and, and the things are just not so the way they should be. But core exit, back to core exit. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Sorry. Um, the core exit. I think it made a uh, a new type of vapor because uh, when the sun evaporates the water um, and you have a, a new type of water because it's now with uh, introduced with core exit um, this vapor is also new and this is up in the air now and it's coming down periodically in rain it's not coming down all the time it's just once in a while and in cer certain areas and certain altitudes and I'm sure that has a lot to do with that. Um, but if you see, it's these these leaves are white. So some are black. That doesn't make much sense. Is that the leaves are black and then some are white and some just have holes in them. And but definitely, it's not from the sun. The plants love the sun. <laughs> the more sun, the more, the more photosynthesis, the more the plants love it. But they also love rain. But when the rain is not good, they don't like that so much. I've been noticing that the leaves, um, normally when the, it rains, the leaves usually point upward. You know? And to, uh, lately, when it rains, the leaves are pointing down to the ground. And it's, they just look really, not really happy. And uh, it's uh, back to the white stuff again. Crazy stuff we got going on here. And look here, there's no pollen. Let's see if this guy's alive. Ah, oh, he's alive, that's a good sign. But everything else here is really looking really bad. Look at the spots on that. Very funky. A lot of rain last week. Not very much sun. So, um, the air has been pretty much uh, it's warm, but it's been a lot of water in the air, moisture, the precipitation, blah, blah, blah. and uh, sometimes when it rains, it's uh, almost like a fine mist, and. Uh, this fine mist is uh, what I have come to rename as core exit rain. And when it's not really heavy rain, um, and it's a really fine, fine mist, and that's been happening a lot since last year. And before, I, I never really noticed it, uh, so much that the rain would be like a fine, fine mist. And uh, there's so much precipitation in the air that it's coming down like this. Um, it's not really raining, it's more or less just uh, precipitation coming down because it's so much moisture in the air. But this moisture is being uh, 
it's a bit heavier than the other moisture because there's also this uh, upgalosta or the the oil that was uh, um, the reason why they put the core exit into the ocean in the first place. Now this is at least my theories and thoughts about uh, what happened with the with the Gulf of Mexico and but now we have Fukujimu and uh, well I, I uh, um, had some uh, sometimes I forget to do things and uh, I forgot to to uh, to make the the coffee uh, filter um, from my coffee machine I forgot to for a really long time I forgot to, to take it out so it uh, got a little moldy but uh, the mold which is a really weird thing was a uh, hunter orange I've never seen um, a shimu or mold that looks like a hunting suit the color of a hunting suit you know so it's uh, I think Fukujimo has a lot to, to say with the way the, the the mold is changing I can take a pictures of it I should have done that a while ago Actually, no, I think I threw it away. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but anyways, I wish you all a nice day and uh, be safe. And uh, hey, keep uh, an eye out on your trees and your leaves and your grass because uh, things are changing. And uh, there's a reason why Monsanto made this uh, new seed that is uh, aluminum resistant. And it's... Uh, well, um, well, for the geoengineering, I believe, and, uh, oh, we gotta stop this geoengineering stuff, because it's really not necessary, but we also have to figure out what's going on with the, the leaves, you know? so, uh, leave your comments, and, uh, have a great, great day, and, uh, yeah, think positively, ciao.